If you're looking for a great autumn or holiday side dish, this may be it. This butternut squash casserole has a mellower flavor than a sweet potato casserole, but the warm spices, apples, and cider, and crunchy topping kick up the flavor to a whole other level. People will definitely be going back for seconds. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get more of my delicious recipes. For returning subscribers, welcome back to my kitchen. Get your large butternut squash and a corn cob holder and poke steam holes down the length of the squash. We're gonna give it a spin in the microwave for about three to four minutes to make it easier to peel and cut. When it's done, cut off both ends of the squash. Then cut the squash down the middle where the steam holes are. Scoop out the seeds of both halves. It should be cool enough to handle and peel the skin off. It's a little more unwieldy when it hasn't been microwaved. Now it's time to cut the squash into strips and then into large bite-sized cubes. Try to make them like sizes so that they cook evenly. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and get a large pot of water boiling. Carefully add your diced butternut squash to the water and let it boil for 10 to 12 minutes. Then drain the water and transfer the squash to a large bowl. Add four tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter cup of dark brown sugar and toss it to coat the squash. To a large pot add one and a half tablespoons of butter, one diced Granny Smith or your preferred apple, a generous hit of cinnamon to taste, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, and give it a stir and allow the apple to soften slightly. Add the apples to the squash and stir them to incorporate. Now it's time to grab your cup of cinnamon frosted flakes. Put them in a sandwich bag and close it. Give them a few crunches in the bag and coarsely crumble them and add them to a bowl. Then add half a cup of dark brown sugar half a cup of chopped pecans, and give it all a stir. Butter your baking dish, and add the squash and apple mixture, and make sure you spread it out evenly into the corners. Add a quarter cup of apple cider over the squash, then layer the cornflake mixture on top. I like to drizzle the two tablespoons of melted butter on the flakes because it helps keep that crunch while it's baking. Bake it in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes, making sure that you tent it with foil for the last 15 minutes. The sweet apples and butternut squash make a wonderful side dish if you just wanted to roast those on their own, but you add the addition of the spices and cinnamon frosted flake topping, it is insanely delicious. Traditional side dishes are good, but sometimes you just gotta mix it up, right? This will prove its worthiness in being right beside your Thanksgiving turkey, and if you have leftovers, I can vouch that mashing them makes another great way to enjoy this dish. For the full printable recipe and more, go to mrskringleskitchen.com. Subscribe and share the love with your foodie friends.